Kia ora year 12 and 13. In this video I'm going to focus on how to take an equation of an ellipse in extended form and get it into standard form. Right, to keep this short I am not going to focus on all of the properties of the ellipse Okay, but you could um, do that when you've finished watching the video for a bit of extra work if you want it. Maybe you don't. Anyway, we're going to start with this one. First thing I do is I'm going to reorder the terms 4x squared plus 8x plus 25y squared minus 150y plus 129 equals 0. I might put a little box around what I'm going to do completing the square on. So that's 4 times x squared plus 2x plus 25 times y squared minus 6y plus 129 equals 0. Okay, my method here to make the completing the square work is to take half of that second number. Now we've looked at that in class, why that's going to work. If I do x plus 1 squared in here, that's equal to 4 times x plus 1, x plus 1. So I'm trying to match up that plus 2x with a square form. So I'm getting a plus 1x there and a plus 2x there. So that's why doing half of that coefficient is always a good idea. The trouble is, by doing that, I've accidentally added in 1, but here the 1 has been times by 4, so I've got to fix it up. So let's keep going. We get 4 times x plus 1 squared, and now I have to subtract off the accidentally added in 4. Now here I'm going to do the same thing. What's well, half of negative 6? Negative 3, so 25 times y minus 3 squared. It's going to match up on this, but I've accidentally added in uh, negative 3 times negative 3 is 9 times 25. So I've added in 225, so I need to take that out. Plus 129 equals 0. Right, now if you pause the video, try and clean it up from here and get it into standard form. That's what I'll do on the next slide. Alright, so you should be down to this 4x plus 1 squared plus... 25y minus 3 squared minus 100 equals 0. So 4 times x plus 1 squared plus 25 times y minus 3 squared equals 100. Now I'm, my goal is to end up with this number being 1. So I'll divide both sides through by 100. And I'll do that now. Right. That leaves me with x plus 1 squared over 25 plus y minus 3 squared over 4 equals 1. Now I'm not going to do, as I said, all of the features there. I'm not going to do the foci or the y-intercepts, but the centre of that ellipse will be at negative 1 and 3. And we've got a squared is 25, so a is equal to plus or minus 5. So the major axis... has got a length of 10, that means the long axis, and the minor has got a length of um, 2 times 2, so 4. All right, but the key things I want you to be able to do from this easily are the completing the square method, and then the dividing through thing, and identifying the center of the ellipse, and being able to sketch it from there. All right, lots of practice on those in the delta and the new lake. Um, have fun and thanks for watching.